hello students as many of you are afraid of permutation and combination so today we are going to learn permutation and combination there are some formulas and techniques in this topic by using which you will be more comfortable in this topic so let us start with one such question question is how many four digited numbers are there which has sum of digit as 30 so what is your conventional approach since the sod i mean sum of digit should be 30 you can make cases of course any average student who is not comfortable in this topic he'll make cases so since sod should be 30 these many cases are possible either the digits will be 9 9 9 3 or the second case 9 9 8 4 and so on so if we take the very first case since 9 9 9 3 are the digits in this case so they can be permuted in these many ways since three of them are same so if we make these many cases we'll get nine cases corresponding to every case we will calculate the arrangement then the answer will become 84 now this is a very lengthy process so do we have any shortcut or formula to do these kind of questions yes we have actually so let us see that sh shortcut it is find the number of non negative integral solutions of the following equation the equation is x1 plus x2 plus x3 so on up to xk is equal to n now what do you mean by non negative integral solutions it means x1 x2 x3 so on up to xk they all should be greater than equal to 0 because 0 is neither a positive nor a negative number what is the answer to this it will be n plus k minus 1 c k minus 1 now we will make use of this formula in our question question was how many four digited numbers are there which has sum of digit as 30 so if we take four places at every place 9 can be the maximum possible digit but if we take 9 at every place the sum of digit will be 36 but we want sum of digit to be 30 it means we want to drop 6 out of this 36 the total dropped number should be 6 in this case so let us drop x from the first nine y from the second nine z from the third nine and w from the fourth nine i mean i am considering the first digit to be 9 minus x the second to be 9 minus y the third to be 9 minus z and the fourth to be 9 minus w now since the dropped number should be 6 and x y z w they can be zero as well so we can say that x plus y plus z plus w that should be 6 always now the formula time what is the answer for this it will be 6 plus 4 where 4 stands for number of variables minus 1 c4 minus 1 if we calculate this we'll get 84 as the answer so that was a direct approach if you want to see the full length video and if you want to learn more such concepts log on to hitbullseye.com thank you so much happy learning